uh, either gang or gang associates. Mr. Chair. Thank you. I call Golris Garaman. The annual review reports for justice, corrections and police make for sobering reading. This is an expensive sector. It's an expensive sector to fail in. It's expensive in real terms, in terms of harm to victims, to their whānau, to communities, the broader harm to our society of having crime on the rise, having more and more of our population locked up in prison, and it's also expensive in terms of the bottom line. This round of annual reviews confirmed, sadly, that New Zealand continues to imprison people at record rates, yep. while Ridiculous. doing that does nothing to reduce crime. In fact, it does the opposite. So we have learnt that spending billions of dollars imprisoning essentially people from certain demographics, Māori and Pacific yep. young men, convictions have gone up for serious crime. Convictions for seri serious violence and sexual offending have gone up by 5%. Convictions for illicit drug offending have gone up by 15%, and we know that that's in the most serious types of drug offending. Uh, we know that the, in terms of uh, offending uh, relating to the supply and manufacture or importation of methamphetamine, those types of offences are about to overtake the prevalence of cannabis-type offences in our justice system. No wonder our courts are overburdened and hardly functioning. Offences relating to robbery and theft are up by 11 per cent, and incredibly, offences relating to weapons are up by an astounding 20 per cent. So we keep hearing that the justice policy uh, under the previous nine years was somehow effective, but the numbers are there in black and white in these annual reviews. The backlogs are up, prison numbers are up, nine years of policies being adopted to make politicians look tough whilst we knew that they were making our communities less safe and costing us billions of dollars that we could have invested in policies that we knew could have reduced crime. That was callous. It's unacceptable. So it's also horrifying to note that whilst we were imprisoning record numbers of people and crime was on the rise, National contracted Serco a multinational corporation to run some of our busiest prisons. At Mount Eden Prison, this resulted, and most people will remember this because New Zealand was horrified. That correctional facility saw the rise of things like fight clubs, contraband, corruption. That contract had to be terminated. A failure. But we're still under a 25-year contract for Auckland's uh, South Prison. Uh, with Serco. Those types of problems didn't exist at this kind of level in New Zealand before that uh, so-called public-private uh, agreement to, uh, to privatise our prisons. Let's call a spade a spade. Our prisons are now at capacity. And incredibly, this report uh, this previous, uh, in this previous uh, period shows that some 49% of people that we imprison are going to be imprisoned again within the next five years after their release. Horrifying. And that is, as anyone will know who's been at the front lines of our justice system like I've been, anyone working in corrections knows, our prisons no longer have the staffing capacity or resource to provide proper rehabilitative programs for the people that we do detain. We don't have programs sufficient to uh, provide drug and alcohol treatment, mental health care, anger management treatment, literacy programs. So people aren't getting paroled because they can't do their courses. We're holding them for longer, but then we're releasing them without actually helping them to be rehabilitated, fit to join society at a low risk of reoffending. That is ineffective and it is a failure, and these, these reports show it. So instead, 
of actually providing for uh, services out in the community that stop crime, that we know actually stop crime, uh, like mental health care before people offend, like drug and alcohol uh, treatment before people reoffend. That government. Oh, <laughs> my time, thank you. <laughs> Oh, the, uh, the question is that the reports of the commit of committees relevant to the justice sector be noted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Uh, members, the question now is that the reports of committees relevant to the Māori, other population, 